Hallelujah, family. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to be in a position where God gives me prophetic messages for you. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My prayer always is that God will use this channel to minister to you, to tell you his mind, to give you prophetic guidance and prophetic directions. Hallelujah. And I'm always privileged to be in that position, to be used of God to minister to someone. So please become a part of this family by subscribing if you're yet to do that already. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is a fresh word, there is a new release, each time God has a message for us, you will not miss out. I always say you never know when God might be giving you a specific and direct instruction. So I was just sitting here, I came back from church, and for some reason, I stayed back a little in the car, and I just heard this message in my spirit. The Lord, this is for someone, God says, persist. It doesn't look like it right now, but persist. Do not be in a haste to give up. It doesn't seem like it. Looking at the physical situations, looking at how um, things are, it doesn't look like that situation might change anytime soon. But God says persist. There is something in there for you persist there is something in there for you and when the lord gave me this prophetic word one scenario came to my mind the story of ruth when ruth lost her husband she knew or she thought that was all you know they so much believe it was all to a point that her co-wife that um her husband's brother's wife opa decided to go her way because they felt like Nothing more could come from Naomi. Nothing more could come from her. She has lost her two children. She has lost her husband. And nothing more. She had already passed childbearing age. Nothing more could come out from that relationship anymore. And she told them, go back. Go and form. Go and create your families. Go and look for husbands. Go and build a new life. And up I left. But I just, I want to believe that the Holy Spirit or something just pushed Ruth to follow. He told her, follow. There is still something in Naomi for you. Right now, it doesn't look like it, you know. But there is still something in Naomi for you. If only you would persist. If only you will be patient. When I think about the story, I ask myself a question. Naomi told Ruth and Opa to go and get wives for the husbands for themselves. Go and build a new life. But Naomi wasn't ignorant about the existence of Boaz. Naomi always knew about the existence of Boaz. But she did not let it out of the back easily. She did not give up that information easily. There are some places that you have to persist to get the good from it. You know they say everything that glitters is not gold, right? And the reverse is true. Not every trash is trash indeed. Some trashes have treasures wrapped in in them. And you, all you have to do is to be patient, to dig in some more. You have to, you know, be intentional before you can get the treasure that is in the trash. Naomi knew all along that there was a Boaz, but she wasn't quick to release that information. As a matter of fact, even when they got to Bethlehem, she didn't tell Ruth immediately that there is um, a Boaz here that can marry you and get your life better. She let her serve. She let her. You know, there are people who have an information that will change your life forever. But they are not going to give you that information just like that. They would watch you. They would watch how you live your life. They are going to watch to see if you deserve what they are about to give you. Do not just toast it like that. Because Boaz was like a gold mine. He was the most eligible person in Bethlehem to get married. She, he was not just um, um, a, a, a God-fearing man. He was a man that had money and had influence and power. Someone that everybody would want to marry. He was like Naomi's joker. And so she decided to keep that joker and wait for the appropriate time to release it. 
and she only released it after Naomi had after Ruth had shown her lo loyalty Ruth had served she was patient and that is when she spoke about Boaz to her and eventually she got married to Boaz had her children had a better life her life changed to get changed altogether and so this word is coming to someone to tell you to be patient I don't know what circumstance you find yourself in and it feels like there is really nothing in that place for you it feels like you're just wasting your time it feels like nothing is happening the Lord is speaking to you right now he says persist there is something in there for you persist 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 do not give up do not give up you know Opa decided to leave she went her way and that's the last we heard of her her story ended at that point but Naomi followed she was patient persistent and it ended up with a beautiful reward now this prophetic message before I released it I prayed to God that it would serve as confirmation to someone you are in a dilemma you're asking yourself should I continue on this part should I just let go and focus on something different I pray that as you listen to this word, may God give you clarity and the confirmations you need to hold on or to move on in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will not leave at the verge of your breakthrough. You will not leave after you have persevered for so long. And right now is the time for your reward in the mighty name of Jesus. May God help you. May God help you. In Jesus' mighty name, may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' name.